the last leg of its operation. And uh, everybody is anxiously looking forward to this uh, great event. As far as Indian space program is concerned, this is going to be the most significant milestone uh, for the planetary exploration. Uh, of course, in the past, uh, we have made an attempt to land on the lunar surface, but unfortunately, it did not succeed at the time. Since then, ISRO has done considerable amount of studies and simulations and strengthened the designs and provided redundancies so that the mission uh, success probability can be improved. So all these actions have been completed. And now the last 20 minutes descending from the lunar orbit to the lunar surface is going to be the most challenging moment in the history of this mission. I'm quite confident like rest of the ISRO scientists and rest of the country that we will do much better because a lot of uh, changes have been done as compared to Chandrayaan 2. First is, first and foremost is more fuel has been put. Then we are using the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter. So we don't have to put the orbit, okay? So more fuel has been put on the lander as well as the propulsion module. Presently, propulsion module which is going round has got almost 150 to 160 kilogram extra fuel, so it can work much more. Now, another thing is that uh, we, uh, you know, what we call the limits, okay, with disper dispersion of uh, the sensors uh, has been increased. Like, you know, if you take the thrust sensor it from 48 earlier to almost 80 to 90 uh, newtons thrusters, it has been changed. The earlier we had uh, five engines, now which were of 440 newtons each. This time four engines have been put of almost 800 newtons. And we can change the thrust. You know, it's always designed the, the slew rate can be reduced. Change thrust can be uh, thrust can be changed. Even two uh, thrusters can be fired. Then the onboard, all the algorithms have been changed. So far, so good. And uh, because this is more like a, uh, as I repeatedly tell, this is more like nom nominally people used to see the uh, countdown once the PSLV or GSLV on the launch pad that day. And uh, it starts 36 hours, 48 hours, or 24 hours, depending upon the mission configuration. But when the, uh, that means uh, uh, so many parameters uh, of the, uh, the launch vehicle, which is in front of you, you are through a computer reading, and uh, various ground systems, after launch radar system, ground systems, many things have to come on functional. And those systems also, along, along with the redundancy, main and redundant systems, main and redundant computers, and uh, everyone should be ready. And uh, even there also, we will be uplinking good amount of uh, programs such that how it will take a path. And so far, so good. And we expect, uh, uh, the, as per the plan A, uh, today we must be able to go. A small update has happened because of the timing is concerned, because of an updated orbit. Uh, other than that, I think everything uh, remains same. And the and like anybody else, I am also eagerly waiting for that queue. I think it's a very big day for India. The reason being, Chandrayaan 2 uh, couldn't quite land. And now we want to show the entire world that we not only have the technical capability, but we've got the ability to go and do a soft landing on the South Pole. A uh, South Pole is an area where there has been no landing up till now. Recently, Luna 25 had a crash landing and earlier all the fly, uh, landings have been on the uh, equator, in and around the equator. So it's much more difficult to land on South Pole and uh, that is why I think it's a big uh, achievement uh, for India and that too in such a short budget. So I think it's a big day. पूरा विश्व इस समय भारत को देख रहा है और विभिन्न स्पेस एजेंसियां भी उत्सुकता से चंद्रयान तीन के इस मौके को जो है पूरी तरह से वो ट्रैक कर रहे हैं और वो देख रहे हैं और इसके साथ साथ आप ये बात समझिए कि इसरो इस समय संसार की चार पांच सर्वश्रेष्ठ या सर्वोच्च स्पेस एजेंसीज में से एक है तो ये एक बहुत बड़ी बात है और आज शाम को जो कुछ होना है और चंद्रमा पर लैंडर रोवर की जो उतार है वो पूरी उम्मीद की जाती है कि सक्सेसफुल होगी हमें इसरो के कॉन्फिडेंस पर पूरा भरोसा है और उम्मीद करते हैं कि ये सब सही होगा इसके साथ जो है इसरो जो है संसार का की चौथी स्पेस एजेंसी बन जाएगा जिन्होंने चंद्रमा पर सुरक्षित अपने स्पेस प्रोब्स को उतारा ये बहुत बड़ी कामयाबी रहेगी अगर ये सक्सेसफुल होता है 
तो आ, हम दुनिया का दूसरा देश बनेंगे पिछले 40 सालों में जो चांद के ऊपर सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग करेगा और अगर हम पूरी ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री की बात करें तो स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन में ऐसे चार पांच देशों में गिने जाएंगे जिन्होंने चांद पर सक्सेसफुली सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग की है ये हमारी साइंटिफिक केपेबिलिटी का दबदबा पूरे दुनिया में बनाएगा और ये बहुत बड़ी बात होगी ये जो फेलियर है रशिया का ये हमारे को सबको दर्शाता है कि कितना मुश्किल है चांद पर सक्सेसफुली लैंड करना एक रशिया जैसा देश जिसका स्पेस के अंदर सबसे ज्यादा दुनिया में इतना दबदबा है वो लोग ऐसे देश हैं जिन जिनका पहला इंसान इन स्पेस उन्होंने सक्सेसफुल किया वो चांद पर पहले जा भी चुके हैं तो इत, इतनी उनका इतना वर्चस्व है उनका लेकिन फिर भी वो सक्सेसफुल नहीं हो पाए तो ये हमें दिखाता है कि ये कितना मुश्किल है और हमारे को कितना ध्यान रखना चाहिए और हमारे को कितनी दाद देनी चाहिए इसरो के साइंटिस्ट की कि वो हमारा मिशन सक्सेसफुल करवा पा रहे हैं